For this lesson on screen form, you need a pen, paper, and a stopwatch. You will be asked at certain times during the recording to pause and carry the directed tasks. In terms of the learning journey, you will be learning to describe screen form, so that includes the items of clothing, colours, prints, and justifications as bare minimum. You'll be able to extract key details from a reading text and a listening video about screen form. And finally, you'll be looking to give a balanced view on the debate of being for or against school uniform. To begin with, you need the equivalent of that. Copy the teat, which is uniform scholar. And then for the actual start, you can see you've got two speech bubbles, which are two different people talking about their school uniform. You need to match up each speech bubble, the number, or the one or two, with one of the pictures, either A, B, C, or D. So you need to read the descriptions and then match up with the pictures. You then need to find the six phrases in the red box underneath, write them in English and then find the French for them. They will be in either one of the speech bubbles. Pause this video, sit your time for seven minutes and off you go. For this reading activity you have Isabel talking about her school uniform and three different exercises for you to complete. The top one in green, the very or full, you need to read the six statements and decide whether they are true or false according to the text. In terms of presentation, you just need to write out the number and very or full. If it is false, you could also correct it in English. The second task is for you to answer in English keywords to the five questions A to E, as you can see in orange. In terms of presentation, you just write out the letter, not the question, and you answer in keywords, but please pay attention to the number of marks available as that means the number of details that you need to provide. The final task is for you to find those seven phrases in French. In terms of presentation, you need to write out the English and then the French. Set your time to 10 minutes, pause this video and off you go. For this next task, you're going to be doing a listening exercise. The listening is a news article about school uniform. It will start straight after this PowerPoint slide, therefore you do need to be quick with the pause. In terms of how I want you to approach this, I want you to just watch the news article first. I want you to listen up for any keywords, anything that you understand. Just kind of get used to the gist of it. It is quick, it is made for a French news channel, but I don't want you to focus on what you don't know, just focus on what you do know, what you heard. After you've watched it for the first time, I then want you to look at the questions on the right hand side and start thinking about some of the potential answers could be. These questions are also found on a separate uploaded document called Luniform Scholar Video Questions, so you can answer them whilst you're watching the video. I then want you to watch the video for the second time and try and answer some of the questions with key English words. And then watch the short video for a third and final time and try to answer all of the questions with key English words or confirm answers that you've already done if you did it right the first time. Like I said to you, this listening is quite difficult, it is quite quick. But it's just about you getting used to extracting key details as you will need to do in your listening exams. Remember to pause this video as the news article will start straight after this. Rentrée prochaine, les élèves étaient tous habillés avec une blouse. C'est en tout cas le souhait exprimé par une majorité de parents d'élèves interrogés dans un questionnaire pour combattre la course aux vêtements de marque. Moi-même, j'ai porté la blouse quand j'étais enfant et ça ne m'a jamais posé de souci. Ça ne pourra pas gommer toutes les inégalités, mais bon, ça limitera un peu la, la casse. Les élèves, eux, ne sont pas tous séduits. Je pense que c'est une chance parce qu'on pourra vivre sans trop la popularité par rapport aux marques et qu'on ne sera pas discriminé parce qu'on a, par exemple, des, des belles chaussures qui coûtent très cher. Quoi qu'il arrive, il y aura des discriminations. On trouvera toujours un moyen de se rendre supérieur aux autres. Donc voilà... Enfin, je trouve que ça ne sert pas à grand chose. La blouse, une méthode à l'ancienne laissée de côté après mai 68, mais qui revient régulièrement dans le débat public. En septembre dernier, le maire de Béziers, Robert Ménard, a proposé d'en fournir gratuitement aux écoles de la ville. Ah, <rire> si aucun établissement public ne l'a accepté, cette école privée l'a adoptée pour ses élèves. La directrice avait déjà commencé à réintroduire la blouse depuis six ans, avec succès car c'est pour elle un symbole fédérateur. Finalement, eh bien, on est tous du même bord, de la même école, avec une même identité et, une même, et on forme une famille. Et finalement, ça gomme toutes les petites agressivités. Une quarantaine de députés s'est même prononcée en faveur du retour de la blouse, mais pour ses détracteurs, c'est de la poudre aux yeux. Le vrai combat, il est de 
celui de la réussite pour tous, de permettre par des pédagogies différentes aux élèves de réussir. Encore une fois, la pièce de tissu ne résoudra absolument aucun problème de l'école. À Toulouse, la direction de l'établissement prendra sa décision définitive en mai prochain. The final task is to create a debate or a dialogue between two people with opposing views about uniform in schools in England. Now this should be in the form of a script. So for example, person one and person two uh, giving different views, whether they are for or against. So I expect you all to be able to give opening statements from the two people saying that they are for or against uniform and why with simple justification. So something like, j'aime l'uniform scolaire parce que c'est à la mode. Expect some of you to add, add debate phrases to show agreement and disagreement to each of the statements. And some of you should also be able to do all of the green and orange plus adding advanced advantages and disadvantages to strengthen their argument for or against school uniform. Now, the vocab to help you with this, like a writing frame and some key verbs, phrases, etc., is found on the next slide. So after this slide disappears, and it's also on a separate sheet uploaded on class charts called Uniform Scholar Debate Vocabulary. Now you're going to have 15 minutes to create this script. Okay, so all you're going to have, all you're going to need to do is create a script between person one and person two debating school uniform, but with advanced French language. Set it on the 15 minutes, pause this video, and off you go. This slide contains lots of good vocab that you can use in order to make your debate really engaging and advanced. You'll need to pause this video at this point in order to be able to use the vocab. Like I said before, the vocabulary is also found on a separate document called L'Uniform Scolaire Debate Vocabulary. Right, that is the end of the lesson. Thank you for completing it. Can you please make sure that all of the work listed below is completed, uploaded and submitted onto class charts? So that is the Isabel reading, so the true or false, the English answers and the French phrases the listing questions so the answers to the five questions and finally the scripted debate between two people discussing school uniform thank you bye